Welcome to Sarah Lawrence College. My name is George Scott, and I'll be your tour guide here in Bronxville, New York, in our beautiful 44-acre campus. Sarah Lawrence College is a co-ed liberal arts school with more than 50 areas of study. What's different about those 50 areas of study here at SLC is that you can combine them however you like. We also have an emphasis on interdisciplinary study, so students can connect their passions to create their futures. In my own studies, I've combined environmental science with photography and sociology. We also have easy access to career opportunities and internships. We're only about 35 minutes away from New York City via Metro North, and only about 10 minutes away from Yonkers, where students engage in academic research and community partnerships. Hi, my name is Vivi Baiz, and I'll be taking you around lessons. This historic building is the original home of Sarah Lawrence, our namesake, and William Ben Duzer Lawrence, who founded the college. Westlands is the administrative center on campus where you can find the offices of admissions, financial aid, the provost, the dean of studies, and the registrar. The president's office is here too, right down the hall from one of our trademark seminar classrooms. Discussion-based seminars are the cornerstone of academics at Sarah Lawrence. Seminar professors guide and moderate small groups of students in a lively conversation, empowering them to become active participants in their education. Hi, my name is Michaela Lunds and I'm here to give you a tour of the area just north of Westlands. The North Lawn is the site of many time-honored SLC traditions, like Spring Fest, where the community gathers to hear student bands play. The newest feature of the North Lawn is our open-air Remy Theater. The 200-seat theater was originally built in Connecticut during the 1930s and was recently donated and relocated to Sarah Lawrence, where it hosts performances and community gatherings. Sometimes professors even hold classes here. Behind me, we have Rothschild, Garrison, and Taylor, just a few examples of the many dorms on campus. This is the Tea House, which serves coffee, tea, baked goods, and it's fully run by students. This quaint study spot has an interesting history. It served as the campus war office in World War II. Hey, I'm Evan. We're here on the north end of campus at Bates, home to student spaces, career services, and one of our dining halls, which is a great spot to grab a bite to eat. The dining hall in Bates has options for everyone, even a gelato bar. Bates is also home to several of our student spaces, including our radio station, WSLC, the student newspaper, Common Ground, where many of our affinity groups meet, and the Interfaith and LGBTQIA spaces, among others. Career Services and Student Affairs are just down the hall. Career Services is a great resource for finding internships, which can often be done for a stipend or for course credit. So I've actually had the chance to do three different awesome internships. One was at a Broadway producing company, another was at Here Arts Center, which is a theater downtown, and then I was also a graphic designer. For those interested in careers in medicine or law, we also have dedicated pre-health and pre-law advisors who can help you make sure you're taking the right classes. They can also offer crucial test prep and can even support you with your grad school application. As a student athlete, Campbell Sports Center is basically my second home, so I'm excited to show you around and tell you about the athletics here at Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence College has 15 Division III sports teams. Division III means that we are a fully competing member of the NCAA with all the associated benefits. Our student athletes know that school comes first and foremost. In addition to the gym, which has cardio and strength equipment, we also have a swimming pool, dance studio, squash courts, indoor running track, basketball courts, and a weight room. Sarah Lawrence College has a mix of recruited and walk-on athletes with varying levels of competition. Teams are a great source of community. I met all of my closest friends on my basketball team. It's a common misconception that at liberal arts schools you can't study in the STEM field. It's not true at all. Here at Sarah Lawrence, we have a really robust science and math program. 
We offer classes in biology, chemistry, genetics, mathematics, computer science, and more. Sarah Lawrence really encourages interdisciplinary work. So even in my science classes, I've been able to bring in what I've learned from sociology and photography. As part of our growing environmental studies program, Sarah Lawrence offers something called the Center for the Urban River at BZAC, which is an environmental research and education center right on the Hudson River in Yonkers. Students like myself get the chance to do work there with everything from eel migration to water contamination. This is Mead Way on the eastern edge of campus, with several more residences converted from single-family homes into dorms with large living rooms and kitchens. This is Warren Green, one of Sarah Lawrence's four housing co-ops on campus. Students in Warren Green focus on living sustainably and even have a community garden out back. Hi, my name's Ash Freeman and I'll be taking you around the library and telling you a little bit about what we call conference work. Now before we enter the library, I want to point out Westlands where we started our tour. As you can see, the campus is a really manageable size while still feeling quite spacious. The library has plenty of resources to help with your studies, whether it's booking an appointment with a librarian to aid with your research, checking out a book from our interlibrary loan, or getting help from the IT desk. From the early days of Sarah Lawrence, students took charge of their own research. This is what we know today as conference work. As a hallmark of the Sarah Lawrence education, conference work allows students to combine their own interests with the subjects of their classes. Conference work can sometimes take the form of research papers, but I know students who have conducted lab research, written plays, recorded podcasts, and even programmed video games. Students meet with professors all semester long, meeting often to collaborate on new approaches and ideas. Down the spiral staircase, you'll find the college archives, where Sarah Lawrence keeps records on nearly a century of college history. This is the Barbara Walters Campus Center, our newest building on campus. We have a large dining area here with grab and go and a la carte options, including a cafe that opens extra early. On nice days, there are tons of spaces for students to eat outside, including the green stairs. We also have a really comfortable living room where students can gather and study. The upper floor of our campus center has our student organization space, which hosts over a hundred clubs on campus. If you don't find one you love, you can always start your own. We also have a gallery for professional and student exhibitions, including three shows per year. Our Campus Center also meets qualifications for LEED certification, including a green roof, LED lighting, efficient orientation of the building to manage solar heat gain while maximizing natural daylight, and a highly insulated exterior wall to minimize heat or cooling loss. Here we are at Heimbold Visual Arts Center to check out the studio and gallery spaces. Something I love about Heimbold is that the garage doors open up, creating a nice environment during class and studio time. There's a ton of space to create in this building. We have a dark room, art studios, digital media lab, sound stage, and a gallery that hosts student and professional work. Students get their own dedicated studio and locker space that they can use throughout the year. Conference work in the visual arts tends to be a little different than just a research paper. Students will create a painting series, experimental performance art, or produce their own film. Whatever you produce, you're contributing to a serious artistic portfolio. Hi, I'm Ariana Brennig. I'm a sophomore at Sarah Lawrence, and I'll be showing you around the President's House and Marshall Field, our music building. We're actually passing our President's House right now. It's right in the center of campus, and the President is a central figure in our community. Marshall Field is home to our music program with music classes, our music library of recordings and scores, plenty of practice rooms, and our standalone Moog synthesizer. You're welcome to join any music group like chamber ensemble or choir, even if you aren't studying music. There are several performance spaces on campus for music, theater, and dance. You saw the Remy Theater earlier, and on the next stop, you'll see some more. Now we're here at the Performing Arts Center, home to our theater and dance programs and some of our biggest performance spaces. You don't have to study theater or dance to be involved in the productions, and all shows are free to everyone in the community. 
There are several theaters in the PAC, including the Canon, which is a multi-level theater inspired by the Globe. Students have done lots of really cool productions in this space, including original and experimental work. Our dance and theater programs really emphasize learning every aspect of your art. For example, I've been involved both on stage and behind the scenes in over 60 productions. You'll recognize the names of some of our shows, but there are likely plenty you haven't heard of too, including new works by faculty and students. Because we're so close to New York City, there are also loads of opportunities to learn from guest artists and residents. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you've enjoyed getting a glimpse of Sarah Lawrence. In my time here on campus, I felt like I've developed a great relationship with both professors and students. I've been able to structure my own education, which has forced me to be more creative and furthered my intellectual journey. We're here for you wherever you are in your college search process, and we hope to see you again soon.